So we can start yeah. with the first question, um, Sabri, based on your experience. This will be exciting for audience too, or a good learning for the audience. Uh, what makes an building an AI app for an enterprise very different than building a traditional app? What should we think about? What are the factors or what are the consideration? What are the gotchas? You can cover some of those elements. It'll be very, very helpful for people building an AI. Okay. That is a that is a great question, Amar. Um, it makes me think, right? So, I will go back to this uh, MIT report uh, that came a uh, few a couple of quarters back, right, right. Uh, which which kind of blew the industry, saying ninety five percent of AI implementation yes. is failing. Um, so it is true, and it is also uh, rather than taking it as a shocking revelation, we can take it as a point of learning. why that is mm. happening why is that the case um the more i took a look into it where we fail is it's not about creating solution with ai it's about creating the enterprise construct around that solution so that is the most difficult part in implementing in the enterprise so what i mean by that is i let me give you an example so you we all have cars and i have a love for car even from my childhood during my college days upgrading your car in india is like is a usual one so especially the audio systems right so right. your deterministic ai and sorry application enhancement say hey i want this feature i want this feature i want a new web app i want a new mobile app i want a erp system those are all like uh, improving your car's uh, aesthetics and uh, functions that you can right. enjoy like in a new audio system uh, creating a new subwoofer or creating a lighting around it so you don't have to change much of your car's construct in order to achieve right. those newer enhancements yeah but when yeah, it comes to the yeah. ai ai is a systemic change so it is like putting in a new engine into your car mm-hmm. so putting in a new axle system into your car so that means all the other system components of your car would have to work together to drive to extract that power and make it work for you otherwise putting in a ferrari engine into your honda civic is not going to make your honda civic a ferrari uh, so that is makes sense yeah that that's 